what's up welcome or welcome back to my channel naturally Shade. so in today's video i am going to be showing you the quickest fastest easiest way to make a curl cap a diy five minutes curl cap so as you can see this opening is wider than your typical hat. Perfect for people with curly hair or just big hair, period, thick hair. Even now, seeing how my hair is up in somewhat of a high ponytail, I'd say it's like a medium high ponytail. <laughs> I would not be able to put on a normal hat with this, but with the opening of this hat, I can actually put it on So as you can see, my ponytail is still intact and I'm able to get this hat on and not lose the hair. If you might've seen my other video where I show you ways that you can wear just regular smegula hats the way that your hair is, but you just have to adjust your hair. So for this type of curl cap, curl hat, you don't have to do any of that. So you could see the opening here and it just fits perfectly with the hair. Seriously, this was so easy to make and I'm probably going to convert all my hats to curl cap, curl friendly style hats. If you're ready to get into this tutorial so that way you can figure out how you're going to make your own curl cap, curl friendly hat in five minutes, then keep on watching. Alrighty, so starting out, of course, you're going to need a hat and I have two different hats here. Um, that I actually got on clearance and it worked out perfect for this project. So yeah, got these two hats here. You're going to need some fabric glue. This is the one that I chose. And of course scissors and you're going to need some kind of clips. It can literally be any kind of clips that you have. Um, and you will see why. In the video you may not need them but if you wanted to get these kind of clothes pin types they're very inexpensive I got mine at Walmart for another craft project but yeah this is pretty much everything so let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial okay so we're getting our scissors and our hat of course and the first thing we're gonna do is cut along the side of the hat So now I'm going to cut up the middle seam of the hat all the way to the other side and as you can see I'm leaving a little bit of space from the seam like maybe a quarter inch or half an inch um, from where I'm cutting. So now I'm going to be cutting along the other side of the hat as well. And now we have our opening for the hat. So now on both sides, I'm going to cut all the way to the seam, as you can see. So I'm just going to loosen this thread here at the seam so that way I can cut this little section horizontally in half. And this is what the inside of the side should look like when you're done. So now I'm cutting down along the side of the seam so that way this side extra fabric is able to fold down 
So now we're going to start gluing at the middle seam. So now I'm just going to fold down that flap of fabric over the glue and secure it. So now I'm going to use these clothespin clips to clip the fabric in place while it dries. And I'm going to do the same thing to the sides of the hat. Glue the edges, fold down the flap, and clip it in place. So for the directions on the glue, it takes two to four hours to dry. All right, so it's already been a couple of hours. And as you can see, I also did this hat. And I'm gonna go ahead and take out the clips. It's been doo -doo -doo, four hours. So let's take these out and see what it's looking like. Okay, so it looks like everything's glued down. So here's the result, a nice and clean edge. Let's see. So nice and clean. That is the end, that's it. Very simple, fast and easy. Literally requires very minimal tools. I mean, you probably already have scissors. You might already have some type of clip, like a hair clip, a bag chip clip, or you can just get the clothespin clips that I use because I had those on hand. Uh, very inexpensive and easy to turn your hats into some curl friendly hat that works with your hair. <laughs> I hope it was easy to follow and I hope that you enjoyed watching. If you did, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up and while you're there might as well hit that subscribe button down below and of course as always thank you so so much for watching i truly appreciate you and i hope to see you in my next video bye